I grew up in a long line of farmers in the northeast of England. And by virtue of the fact that there was already a long line of Wallgate men in the business, I sort of walked away from that. I became very interested in wine uh, while at university. I took myself off to visit vineyards and uh, saw my own future there in, in winemaking. So I've been pursuing that really for the last 20 years. Being organic, biodynamic, for me is, it's the only way that I can farm now. Growing up in a farm which was you know, conventionally farmed, industrially farmed, and seeing the journey that my family's business has gone through over the last 20 years, where now we're sort of avoiding cultivation, working with cover crops, building organic matter back up in the soil, is the most effective, sustainable way of farming. It's a way of producing better quality produce. I, yeah, I don't feel like I have a choice about that. That's just the way we're going to farm here. That's the way we're going to make our wine. And I believe honestly that the wines have more energy, they're more dynamic and they're more interesting to people as well. So we produce a lot of wines here at Tillingham. So I think at the last count there are about 20 wines and uh, those uh, 20 wines will cover a manner of different styles. So we'll have red wine, white wine, orange wine, rosé, sparkling, but then there's three or four different ways of making sparkling. So we tried all of those as well. And that's, some people say a bad idea because having too many products can confuse consumers, but actually it's proven to be slightly the opposite in that because the wines are these small batch wines with lots of personality, people are desperate to try the next one. Our approach to the winemaking is the, the wine will end up being what it wants to be and it's a representative of the, the soil and the farming and the, the particular type of yeast that are coming in on the grapes and so the wines end up being their own thing and there are no interventions, there are no added sulphites, there are no added yeast, there's no filtration, there's no fining. It's a very, um, it's a very reactive and, and natural process. Tillingham was always going to um, include hospitality, rooms, food, because it's not just a vineyard and the whole approach is treating the farm as a holistic system. Byproducts from the winery go back into the field, we have livestock, um, rotationally grazing around the, the, the vines and then we have pasture as well and there you know so you've got the meat there and it's this joined up system ultimately one day it will be you know entirely self-sufficient um, and we're also championing a way of farming and a way of doing business which um, has you know is positive for the environment ultimately that's that's the way I want to live